What is up YouTube? This is Jim with jimlopez.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a 3,000 word blog post article using ChatGPT in just a few minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm here on my computer and you would think the best way to have ChatGPT write a 3,000 word article is to just request a 3,000 word article. So what I went ahead and did right here is I asked ChatGPT write a 3,000 word blog post article on how to grow a YouTube channel in 2023. So this is the answer that I got or the um, the output that I got from ChatGPT. And it's basically, it, it has uh, eight different um, blo uh, I, blog post sections and a conclusion. The problem with this is that it's only 529 words. So I went ahead and put it, or excuse me, 546 words. So I went ahead and put it through the word counter. So the way to use ChatGPT to write, to write long form articles, blog posts, is to go into a little bit more detail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy how to grow a YouTube channel in 2023. And I'm going to say write an outline for, and then I'm going to go ahead and, and put it here. I'm going to go ahead and submit. And now ChatGPT is writing a outline for me. Okay, so ChatGPT went ahead and wrote an uh, entire outline blog post for me. So I got the introduction, define your niche, create high quality content, optimize. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. Let me see. I think I have to go from the bottom up. Let me go ahead and copy this here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it into a document just so that I can uh, keep everything organized. All right. So here is the outline for that blog post. So I'm going to go back to uh, chat GPT. And there's two ways you can do it. You can go basically section by section. So right here it says explanation of the importance of YouTube as a platform for creators. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to go ahead and type in here, write a para paragraph about, I'm going to go ahead and paste that first one in there, an explanation. Okay. Okay, so this is the output I got here. So I would go ahead and copy it, come over to the document, and then under this section here, I would go ahead and just paste it, and knowing that um, this section, this is the first section here. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and copy, which is the next one, which is a brief overview of tips that will cover, will be covered in this article. I'll go ahead and go down and do the same thing. Write a paragraph about, paste that in there, go ahead and do it. All right, so it starts off with, in this article, we'll be discussing a variety of tips of growing YouTube, a YouTube channel in 2023. Specifically, we'll be covering how to define a niche, create high quality content. All right, so this is a, a really good part of that introduction paragraph. All right, so I would go ahead and copy that. And just basically go down down the list here, paste it. All right, so now I have uh, two main paragraphs. I, I might break them into smaller paragraphs, but two sections now. So we go here, I would go back up and start on the next section, which is define your niche. Uh, so you can also do, uh, to make it a little bit quicker, I'll just show you a different technique and it says, you can write, write paragraphs on the following 
sections. All right. So this time I went ahead and wrote, write a paragraph on the following sections. Define your niche, your niche, uh, importance of finding a niche, creating content. So let's see what type of output it gives me. Okay, so it went ahead and gave me a total of five paragraphs here. So if you don't want to do paragraph by paragraph, you can do a section. So this one right here, I just said uh, write paragraphs on the following section. Define, uh, define your niche. So I'll go ahead and copy this. Let me go from the bottom up here. Um, and I'll go ahead and copy this. Go back to my document and just go ahead and put it in this section here. Paste it. And now I have that. Uh, those four paragraphs for that section. So then you would do the same thing for the following. So you would copy this next section. Copy it. Come back here. And we're going to put... Um, it says, okay, write, write a paragraph for the following sections. I'll paste that again and go ahead and run it. Okay, so I went ahead and I wrote the, the next section here. So I'll go ahead and copy this and continue up. I'll copy it. I'll go back to my document. So then for this section, I'm going to go ahead and paste that here. And I will continue on to the next one. So the next section is going to be optimizing your video for search, promote your videos, uh, engage your audience. Invest in editing equipment, make use of YouTube features, all right, consistency, and then conclusion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish the, uh, the rest of this section. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here. So like that, I don't take up too much time, and then I'll be back in a few seconds. Thank you. Okay. So I went ahead and finished off the last section, which is the conclusion. I went ahead and uh, copied this section and I put in uh, write a conclusion paragraph for the following section conclusion and then it has the recap and this was the final output it gave me so what I went ahead and did is I finished all the sections and I went ahead and opened up a new document just to make everything look nicer so that I can easily copy and paste it into a blog uh, WordPress uh, website so right here I'm just going to do a little quick overview I did the introduction Here's the output I got for the uh, uh, introduction. And this article will be discussing a variety of tips for growing your YouTube channel in 2023. And then I have define your niche. And again, next section here is create quality, high quality content, optimizing your videos for search. I got promote your videos. I have engage with your audience, uh, invest in video editing. Uh, make use of YouTube features, and then consistency, you know, stay consistent, and then a conclusion. So when I, I went ahead and uh, copied this, and I put it into the word count. So I, I got 3,200 words uh, from that blog post article using ChatGPT. So this is a quick and easy way you can use ChatGPT to write articles. Uh, if you've been following my videos, you might know that um, if you're really serious about writing long form content, I would recommend a tool like Jasper in combination with uh, Surfer SEO. Surfer SEO is a search engine optimization tool that you can use to write articles. I'll just give you an example inside of uh, this is uh, Jasper. If you're uh, familiar with Jasper, if you're not, you can check out some of my other videos. Uh, 
but basically Jasper is the original long form editor uh, tool that I've used. So if you're actually interested in giving uh, Jasper a try, I'll put a link in the description where you can get 10,000 free words. Also, um, you can utilize Surfer SEO for free. It has a few uh, free tools. You can create an AI outline generator. So basically, instead of having uh, ChatGPT write the outline, you can just go into their free uh, generator outline, type in your, your title here, and it'll give you uh, an outline for that article so that you can use it to create content and it's SEO optimized for that keyword. So again, this is the way you can use chat GBT to write long form articles, but if you're serious and you want to give Jasper a try, I'll put a link in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Do me a favor, go ahead and hit that like subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks.